Welcome back to Trending. Here to talk sex and relationships is sexologist Dr. Lemore Blockman. Hi, Lemore. Thanks for being here. Hi, my dear. So we're going to talk about men today yes. in particular. Yes. Uh, what about them? <laughs> what about them? So um, I came across a study that dealt with libido uh, men and exercising, working out, mm. which is very relevant to most men. What they did was uh, very simple. They kind of... Um, examined the length of their exercise and the intensity of it and then they divided into low moderate or high okay and then they uh they went on and uh, gave them a questionnaire to kind of see through their libido how do they accumulate that information they asked them what's your interest in sex how mm -hmm. often do you think of sex how often do you initiate sex um is it something that you enjoy uh, different various questions that have to do with their libido and they assess the information. And they came out with a very interesting result. Do you have any idea what came out of it? I guess the more <laughs> you exercise, the better sex drive you have? Not really. No? No. So men with moderate uh, and intensity and length of their exercise were the best, uh, were the highest libido. Hmm. They were actually um, going well when it, when it came to any sexual activity. Mm -hmm. Men with low intensity and length of exercise were a little higher or a little lower on the uh, on the ability that they exhi exhibited in bed. Mm -hmm. And men that exercised intensely were terrible. <gasps> Their libido was really low. <laughs> so they, they just pushed themselves too hard. <laughs> yes, absolutely. Really? Yeah. Because but you wanna... imagine these big hunks with a lot of testosterone I know, lifting they weights look... all day. You would imagine that they would have a lot of libido. I know. It, seems, it is very interesting. But I want to say something to our male viewers sitting on the sofa right now. So you, that guy sitting there with a the beer. <laughs> Yeah. Don't tell your wife, here, honey, the doctor in her studies said that I shouldn't work out, so just grab <laughs> me another beer on the way. No, that's not what I'm saying. I yeah. am saying that moderate, moderate exercise is very relevant. There are studies that show that um, testosterone and adrenaline are very relevant for sex drive. Mm -hmm. So you should definitely engage in, in, in activity, yeah. in any sort of activity. Keeping but generally wanna, active yeah, is just yeah, always a good just idea. Just being mm -hmm. active, not sitting on the couch, and, you know, and on that note, not consuming. Your diet is very relevant to your libido. Mm -hmm. I want to say that it really is relevant if you consume vegetables or fruits in you know, comparison to any fatty food or yeah. alcohol for that matter. Consumption of alcohol seems very, you know, releasing inhibitions and everything, but it can harm you mm. in, in a sense of erectile dysfunction and other factors that come with that. I want to just say something, another, another thing re in regards to libido, because we're always accustomed to this idea of the ready, always ready male. Yeah. It sounds like a happy meal, <laughs> you yeah. know, always ready. <laughs> but it's not true. I mean, men are inflicted by this, as mm -hmm. are women. Because we are, as a society, are expecting that men are always libidinous, they're always interested. It's not necessarily true. They are plagued with a lot of things that influence this libido. There's age, there's use of medication, there's other factors that really influence this. Even, you know,